Right, so today we're going to take a look at the last issue of Scan for this term. In the first page of the last issue of this year, the Hacienda Classical was a success. It was attended by nearly 3,000 guests and featured a collaboration between DJs Mike Pickering, Graham Park, and the experimental band Orchestra Fac 51, the Hacienda. But disaster struck when Grant Williams had to queue for 90 minutes for some beers. This is why pre-drinks were invented, you dirty bastard. But later he said, we regret it, not getting VIP tickets, but you shouldn't have to pay 75 quid just to get some decent service and a drink. Whereas in Sugar House you pay 4 quid entry for shitty service and sexual harassment in the unisex toilets. <laughs> also this year, Lancaster University developed an emotion censoring device, so that we can find out whether or not Michael Gove has a soul. But more to the point, the article says that the device is based on the Void Camp machine in the 1982 blockbuster The Blade Runner. By the way, it's, it wasn't a blockbuster, it was a financial failure at the time, which basically bankrupted the lad company. And secondly, it's not the Blade Runner, it's just Blade Runner. Not the Blade Runner as in the Captain America Civil War and the Warcraft. No, it's just Blade Runner. Sloppy journalism. Look, just get off of Yik Yak and Google the fucking thing. Now to one of the bigger issues. Libraries are for learning, not smoking. Which is an opinion piece about how hard it is to deal with the fact that people take smoke breaks outside the library and how non-smokers have to hold their breath when they walk past them. A bit like Beijing at rush hour. And I suppose that if you're a migrant in a lifeboat, you're gonna inhale a lot of water, but you don't always get what you want, do you? In one of the bigger stories of the year, Scan was granted an audience with Lusu President Will Headley, who's stepping down from his position, much in the same way that Ed Miliband did when he got fired. Come on, Jeremy Corbyn! Come on, you pigeon-breasted fuck! Will said that Lusu acted in a less political fashion this year, so to honor that relative accomplishment, Will was relaxed and honest in his interview, in which he was willing to discuss not only the things that went well this year, but failures, both his own and Lusu as a whole. Then again, the editorial does mention Lucy's continuously unrealistic demands, the infamous censored issue, and the fact that getting students to work on scan will become almost impossible because of petty Lucy politics. So the interview with Will Headley is a fraud, and he's lying through his teeth when he says, you can't please everyone. How about no one will? <laughs> Fuck off! However, he did leave us with good news. When Scan asked what his greatest achievement of the year was, to which he replied, our greatest achievement is yet to come. Which means absolutely fuck all. So, yeah, see you later, Will. Another Lusu president bites the dust. Speaking of losing faith, a collaboration between the university and the students' union Because let's face it, it's always been fun. has resulted in a new aspect of the iLancaster app, Unisafe, which you can use to contact police if you've been sexually assaulted. I'd consider it reassuring if it didn't depress me so much that it's actually come to this point. I mean, we have actually designed and implemented a rape app. Bye, Tinder. It's nice knowing you. But I don't want to leave the three people who watch this video with bad news. So I'd like to share with you Advice with Elliot, your university to-do list. Picture the scene. It's the end of exam season, and you don't know what to do. Well, you're in luck, because Elliot has some suggestions. YouTube Karaoke. Open up that web browser and embrace your inner stereotype. Hold a seance. Whip out those candles and get in contact with your virginity. Hand in a piece of coursework early. Hold your own come dine with me, how does that even fucking work? <laughs> Start a conga in a club and be the most unpopular guy there. Go to the ice cream shop on campus. Because there's an ice cream shop on campus. Or just ignore all six of those shambolic suggestions and go to the fucking pub. 